Because it eliminates a slew of redundant data interaction tasks, Entity Framework can enhance developer productivity. It also provides consistency in the tasks it does rather than having various members of your team invent their own means of designing their data access. Not to say that there isn't a learning curve for Entity Framework, especially if you want to leverage its advanced features, but in simpler scenarios, the learning curve can be quick. Entity Framework has a dedicated team at Microsoft. EF has been around since 2008 and has gone through a number of evolutionary steps as it gains functionality and has become more sophisticated. There was a time when being part of the .NET Framework also meant a long release cycle, but like ASP.NET, EF6 is open source, allowing the team not only to interact openly with the development community, even accepting modifications to EF from the outside, but it also means that the team can package up and release new versions of EF when they deem necessary. Since the first release of EF6, Microsoft has pushed six updates. The most recent version, 6.1.3, released in March 2015, had over half a million downloads in the first three months. In total, the Entity Framework APIs have been downloaded over 11 million times. That represents not only a huge number of users, but a huge variety of scenarios that Entity Framework is supporting. Microsoft is quite serious about EF, and EF6 will be around for a long time to come and will continue to evolve in parallel with the next iteration of EF beginning with EF7. Rather than writing the relevant SQL to target whatever relational database you're working with, Entity Framework uses the link syntax that's part of the .NET Framework. This allows developers to use a consistent and strongly typed query language regardless of which database they're targeting. And they're writing these queries against their domain objects, not against the database schema. Additionally, link is used for querying other elements in .NET, even in memory objects, so developers can benefit from their knowledge of link, whether they're using link to entities, link to objects, or some other flavor of link. Using an ORM allows developers to focus on their domain, their business rules, and their business objects. They don't have to worry about direct interaction with a database or being intimately familiar with a database schema. Developers still need to understand how Entity Framework works and some of its nuances with regards, for example, to how it tracks changes that need to persist to the database or patterns for working in disconnected applications. But that follows the importance of understanding how your tools work and not just blindly using them in your software. And of course, there are plenty of resources right here on Pluralsight to gain that knowledge.